Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be turning myself into a zombie. So if you'd like to see how I created this look, just keep watching. Hi guys, alright, so now I'm just going to be laying down my eyebrows, making them really flat so that I can paint over them. I'm using an Elmer's glue stick to kind of stick the hairs down and then I'm using a spoolie brush to just brush them into place and repeating that process on both sides. And now I'm going to set them in place by taking some powder and patting that in. This is so that the brows are not sticky. Okay, so now I'm going to be taking my Maron Cream paint. This is in the color white. And I'm going to be applying that all over my face. I find that using a kind of buffer brush like this for cream um, really helps to spread out the color. I'm just trying to give myself like a dead, dead um, skin color or a dead complexion. So um, this cream actually works very well. It's blending out very nicely. I usually use paint. So this is my first time really kind of using cream all over my body. And so far I like it. It's much easier to spread the uh, product around. But as you can see, it's not very opaque. So I guess it has its pluses and minuses. I'm just practicing. <laughs> am I starting to look dead? And yes, <laughs> I am. So here I'm taking my Maron, uh, I think it's called a bruise wheel and I'm taking the darkest color and I'm just going around my eye socket to kind of give my eyes that sunken in look. As you can see I'm just building up that color. Now this is a cream paint so as I go forward with the makeup it does start to move a little bit and disappear. I didn't set it with any eyeshadow or anything like that so So as you can see, I'm starting to look more dead now. I'm just cleaning that up, cleaning that shape up with a Q-tip and blending out that, those harsh lines. So I thought that I would just put the cream over my eye uh, eyebrows, but that did not work because the cream kind of mixed in with the eyebrow and the glue. So I attempted to use my white face paint. That did not work either. I mean, it did work, but it doesn't blend very well with cream, so obviously now it's standing out too much. And later on, I'm going to try to scratch most of that off and try to patch it up. So, trial and error. I've never, I just started kind of blocking my eyebrows out, and so I'm still learning on what products go with what. And cream is something that's still new for me, so. Here I am trying to give myself a dead, more dead, crusty, decayed look. So I'm using that dark color from the wheel and just kind of carving out the eye socket so it looks more sunken in. And my nose area as well. just contouring trying to make my face look more sunken in less fresh less alive as if I've been dead for a little while so I'm just playing around with the shape until I I get to one that I'm happy with
And now I'm just kind of contouring my body for the same reason. I want to look like I've been dead for a while, like I'm decaying. I haven't eaten in a while, you know? Somebody get me a cheeseburger. <laughs> I'm outlining here sort of kind of like what the rib cage would look like and I'm using that white cream paint to kind of blend out the harsh lines and highlight in between. Starting to come together now it's looking like I definitely have been decaying which is pretty cool. If you guys like what you're looking at so far and you like the video, don't forget to subscribe. I plan to do more looks like this, so if you want to see more looks just like this and just makeup in general, subscribe so you don't miss out on my uploads. I'm just going over the contours again, making them darker, trying to find a shape that I'm satisfied with and then using that white buffer brush with the, the white cream paint to kind of buff out those harsh lines. So here I'm uh, I'm wiping off the glue because the paint just looks too uh, too cartoony in contrast to the cream paint. It's too opaque. It doesn't look good. So I can't get it off right now because I set it. So I'm just scratching off as much as possible and then trying to blend blend around it. So it definitely looks better without that stark white. that same cream paint I'm sort of darkening the the sockets there outlining just building up the contours I do like this paint I like the fact that you can build it up to a, a darker color whereas when I use my water activated paint it's very very dark and it's hard to blend out so I definitely think I might like to work more with creams and I might have to get myself some more colors. And now I'm just trying to create more depth, blending, darkening it, blending it out. So now I thought I would draw some sort of open wounds on my body. I'm using the red color, the dark red color in the wheel and then to fill it, I'm using the lighter red color so it looks like blood. Now I'm adding that darker color around the perimeter of the open wound to give it some more depth to make it look like it's actually open. So I'm shading around. I probably could have used some black eyeshadow to make it even darker. But it definitely is giving it depth, so it is working. taking that bruise wheel with my stippling sponge and I'm stippling on that yellow color so I can look sort of more like a rotting although technically I wouldn't be rotting as well as having open flu uh, open wounds flesh wounds but 
blood always makes everything better. So here I'm actually adding on some blood gel. And I'm realizing that all that shading and detail that I did to make myself look dead and skeleton-like is going to be masked by the blood. But I already started, so I'm going with it. I'm a zombie that was eating somebody alive, that's why I'm so bloody. I'm making a scary face, I'm getting into character. This is another blood from Maron. These products are from Maron. And now I'm just stippling it, stippling it all over. Basically undoing all the shading that I did. Now I'm too clean, so I have this kind of ash or dirt that's for makeup purposes. It's not really dirt, but it makes my clothes look dirty. So here we go. My teeth are too clean. <laughs> so as you're going to see in a moment, I'm going to use a Maron product to dirty up my teeth. And that will complete the look. Of course, it never ever does, but it looks dead. I look dead. So, leave a comment down below. Let me know what look you'd like to see me try next. I'm trying to do 31 looks for 31 days of Halloween, and this is number two, so I have a long way to go. If you'd like to see more of this type of content, more makeup videos, more recreations, then subscribe to my channel. That way, you are notified when I upload. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.